Hello, welcome to the How Do I video series for Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 R2. Through this video, I will show you how you can use new feature for export and import all data or only part of them in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 R2. My name is Alexander Totovic. I am a Microsoft Dynamics NAV MVP and I have created this video in collaboration with the training center Platan and Microsoft. At the end of this video, you will learn how to create new company copying existing in the same database or export company specific data from one database and import them into another database. The objective of this video is how to change all well-known FBK functionality with new features, because all of us know that FBK functionality doesn't support in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 R2. In order for you to perform these steps in this video, you should install Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 R2 with Cumulative Update 8. In this video I will also use Windows PowerShell ISC, but it is not necessary. As you can see on screen, I will enable this scenario in 5 following steps. In the first step, I will create a new company from existing one. So. I'm going to start using Windows Client in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 R2 and my user account has super role configured. I will find companies using search field in address bar. Open the companies page to see all companies in our NAV database. I need to choose source company which I want copy to new one and run copy command. Now we have to fill new company name and press OK. We need to wait some time, it depends of company size. Finally, we have got a new company existed as our old. New version of Microsoft Dynamics NAV does not support all FBK functionality, but we got some new features. But with cumulative update 8 release, we got new similar functionality as old FBK backup, export import data. In my second step, I will describe process of exporting data from Microsoft Dynamics NAV database using Windows Client. I am still in Windows Client. I need to find export to a data file using search field in address bar. Otherwise, we can find this functionality using departments of many, administration, IT administration, general. You can find this on bottom of the task part. You will see the new page, similar as old FBK feature. You need to fill description with the backup file name you want to use and choose export type. When we press OK, new window where we need to save backup will appear. We need to find a place for backup saving and press save. Exporting process can take a few minutes, it depends on database size. When process is finished, we will get a file name with NAV data extension. You can choose four export types, but the main focus is on companies. You can choose all companies if you want to export data from all companies in the database, but you can also choose to export data from only one or more companies. You can export data common to all companies from database as report list permission roles, user IDs and printer selections. You can also choose to export application data or application objects. In our next step, I will perform importing created NAV data file to another Microsoft Dynamics NAV database using Windows Client. We still need to use Windows Client in the same locations where we already used exporting data process. This is administration, IT administration general. We can find import from data file next to export to a data file. When we run this command, the new import data window will appear. We need to file backup file for importing process using file name. When we choose NAV data file, we can see date and time when this file is created and companies' names will appear in the lines as well. Number of companies depend on number of companies backup file already created. If we have more than one company, we can decide to import data for all of them using all companies import type or choosing only one or few of them. In my example, I will import only one company. If we have multi-tenancy environment, we can choose tenant ID for import data. Similar as you have seen in the exporting process, 
you can also choose import data type as global or application data. I already explained meaning of these types. When you choose all options, you need to press OK. Before importing process will run, we will get warning message to be sure that we can believe to this data. If everything is OK with this file, we can press Yes and wait a few minutes to finish data importing process. Compared to the old FBK backup, this new functionality is very, very faster. It is important to remember two following things. You cannot import company data in the same company name already exists in target database. Also, the new import functionality is very strict with the database schema. Database schema needs to be exactly the same in export and import database. My fourth step is export data from Microsoft Dynamics NAV database again, but this time using Windows PowerShell commandlets. We can use new commandlet for exporting process, export NAV data. With this commandlet we can export all our company specific data from Microsoft Dynamics NAV database. You can also use get NAV data file commandlet to see backup file information. You can use Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 R2 administration shell, but however, I still prefer Windows PowerShell ISC. If you use Windows PowerShell ISC, you must run it as administrator and import NAV module. Now we can use this tool. We will type command export NAV data and then database server name. After that, we have to type database name and then what we want to export. In this example, I will use switch all companies and file name with full file path. But we can also use company name parameter instead. We can use also following switch include applications, include application data and include global data. We need to wait a few minutes and finally we will get NAV data backup file as you can see as a result on this action. You can use more parameters and you can find all of them if you use help for commandlet. In my last step, I will perform importing data process from existing NAV data file. We can use new commandlet for importing process. Import NAV data. With this commandlet we can import all or company specific data into the Microsoft Dynamics NAV database from existing NAV data file. We can include different types in import process as you already see. Ok, we will still use Windows PowerShell ISC. Import process is similar as export, but we use opposite command import NAV data. Again, we need to fill target database server and database name. We also need to choose what company we want to import. If we want all companies, we need to choose which all companies. But if we want only one company, we will choose company name parameter instead. In my example, I will import only one company. At the end, we need to fill full path of our NAV file. When we run commandlet, we need to wait. When process is finished, we can check result in our Windows client. I will refresh page and you can see result. If you want to see more parameters you can use, you can again use help in Windows PowerShell ISC. In previous steps, you could learn how to copy existing company to new one in the same database and export company specific data from Microsoft Dynamics NAV database and import to another NAV database using Windows client or PowerShell commandlets. We have not to use this functionality as backup strategy. We can use it for preparing testing or training environment for debugging production data when we want to move company specific data and for other similar reasons. But if we need backup strategy, we have to use SQL Server Backup. We can use this feature only for this version of Microsoft Dynamics NAV. A NAV data file is not a FOB alternative. Also, there is not exist data validation during export import process. These export and import pages are protected with Microsoft Dynamics NAV permission system. We can create new permission set for this functionality and add them to users using standard system assigning permissions to the users. That was all. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed. 
I invited you to follow other how do I videos for Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 R2.